since getting the bike outside, I've been able to change all the fluids uh, on the bike. Um, not that there's many fluids on the bike anyway, but um, obviously it's got it's got oil in it. But I was able to do the you know the the brake flukes it's out of the house. Now since doing that, I'd noticed that the the brake uh, the front brakes weren't particularly responsive, shall we say? So the the brake handle was just like really compressing up, and it was just really spongy, and there just was no decent kind of braking behind it, shall we say? So I had a look around, uh, found that the brake lines, the Brady brake lines, they were slightly leaking. Um, so I've just decided to do away with them and bought a new set from eBay. So that was sorted. What I also noticed was the brake nipples or screws, whatever you want to call them, on the brake caliper, they were actually leaking. Now, a friend of mine, I'd actually given the calipers away to a friend of mine who's got a, a engineering workshop that was able to drill them out because when I got the GS one of the, the screws was snapped off and I snapped off another one as well just trying to service them but it, it's an old bike it's bound to happen it's one of those isn't it so uh, yeah sent it off to him and um, he drilled them out and he tapped it out to a larger size but he did kind of forewarn me that they may leak um, basically because it's not actually the threaded part on the screw or the nipple that, that seals the caliper itself, it's the kind of the mating surfaces on the bottom of the brake nipple or like the flange or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, so he, he did say they'd probably like drill a bit too far and kind of damage that. I, I don't know, maybe whatever, but it's just not, it's not sorted now. So, I've got a few options. So, I'm going to go into one of them today. As I mentioned, there's a couple of ways I could go about this. Uh, number one, I've already done, so I've, re well, I've drilled it out. A friend of mine's drilled it out and re-tapped it. That's just not worked. Um, yeah, it's just one of those, isn't it? Uh, second option is you can get kits online where you get um, a tap and a sleeve. And obviously the sleeve has the kind of the flange bottom in it. So you just drill out the hole uh, to a, a large diameter, tap it, and then you slide the sleeve in. Uh, the only thing is with these kits, they're quite expensive. And um, I'm not sure if I'm willing to pay that amount for it. So an option uh, that's kind of come to me, or someone's made me aware of, is to use one of these so this is a banjo bleed nipple or bleed screw whichever you want to call it so the idea that I've got going around in my head is to blank this port off so put a bolt down there with some quick metal, so a metal epoxy. So yeah, block that off with that and a bolt and then flush it off. And then just use the banjo bolt. the caliper so yeah that's that's my thought process so the first thing I've got to do or I've done is to rough up the surfaces and what I'm going to use or where these parts are going to be sealed so I've ran some sandpaper down here and round the brake nipple uh, I'm gonna to have to use this I don't have a bolt that's gonna fit um, I've also ran a drill bit down the end as well just to kind of score up the inside of the bore on that because I'm going to have to fill it with quick metal.
just need to clean out any kind of excess that's kind of come out through the back of the brake nipple. Right, okay, so I've gone ahead and I've filed down the bleed screw on the brake caliper. So all I've done is just literally taken the, the roughness off it and then sanded it over so it's just nice and smooth. I've then gone ahead and given it a nice coat or a brand new coat of black enamel paint. So you can see there, there's our flushed uh, bleed point section. Okay, so all I need to do now is put the brake piston back in, uh, install the seals, sliders and the cradle, and then I can stick it back on the GS. Um, also with the new braided brake hoses. So stick them on as well, and then get all the system bled through. Yeah, let's crack on. Okay, so all I need to do now is top up the reservoir with some DOT4 brake fluid and then gently bleed the system. So all I'll do then is just gently press the handle like this and that will push the air through the system and I can then bleed it down at the banjo bolts. Brakes on the GS. So yeah, it's turned out really good. Calipers are spot on, you know, the brake points are working as they should be. I'm able to bleed the calipers and the braided lines, yeah, they're working good as well. You know, they're not leaking and they're not dragging in air, so yeah. So you think I'd be happy at this point? Yeah, I've still got a bit of an issue with the brakes. So I'm not completely happy with the feel I'm getting back from the braking, so it's like the brakes aren't grabbing onto the discs as well as they should be. And I think this is down to the master cylinder, so this set of master cylinders that I got from eBay. So they look, you know, they look the part, they look very nice, but I think that's about it really, they just look nice, they're not doing a great job of actually stopping the bike. So I've had a bit of a play around with it and I put the Rebel, excuse me, the, the master cylinder from the Honda Rebel on there just to test it out and I was getting the same kind of feel for it and obviously that's a 250 bike so yeah it's a smaller master cylinder. So I'm getting the same kind of feel for it because I was just testing to see if this was you know, broken or whatever. So yeah, it's it's just the same. Um, so what I've done is rooted around in my box a bit from when I got the GS and found the original master cylinder that was on the bike. So this here. Now, on closer inspection, I've discovered that this is actually a Brembo master cylinder. Um, I've had a quick look online. I think it's a PS16 master cylinder so it's quite it's quite like compared to what I've got here it's quite significantly bigger so what I'm going to do is find a seal kit for it and obviously bung that in it and see how we go um, apparently they're specifically designed for twin discs which the, G the GS is so 
yeah, I'm going to get a new kit for that and see how it goes then. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to sort it out. So yeah, that's probably one of the next videos coming up. So yeah, make sure you watch that. If you are enjoying the build series, uh, please subscribe, like and share the build content. It's greatly appreciated and uh, I will see you next time.